Hello, I'm JB. Tune in to Jazz and Stuff. I will feature the artist of a lifetime. And I'm Teresa of Being Broke is Acute Personal Financial Services with your weekly financial tips. Tune in to Jazz and Stuff every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. on the After Party Radio. Check out the show. Hey! We are here for the next three hours. Yep. Jazz and Stuff. Teresa's going to be bringing the financial report a little later on. Yes, I know she got some good tips. She got some good tips for us, right? I've got some good tips. I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, all right. All right. We're going to like that. Ready. And, and we got everything going for us. And uh, we're going to have the artist of a lifetime today. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I've already posted that. And uh, I, well, you posted it. Yes, I did. And uh, it's, it's none other than uh, Michael McDonald. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's going to be interesting because Michael ha Michael has a. Um, I, I read part of his bio and uh, mm -hmm. and what he was doing and uh, quite 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 a musician. Quite a musician. Oh, very and, you know, talented. Him, him and uh, um, Wes. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, Wes. Yeah. Um, what is his first name? Uh, Last name is Wes. Yes, last name is Wes. Adam? King, um, King, I, I was saying, uh, uh, it, it'll come to me in a minute, uh, mm -hmm. but um, they kind of had some words in now. Uh, we, we got that little part, too, where, where he's kind of criticizing. I, I'll call his name in a minute. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, um, yeah, mm -hmm. Listen, I've, I've been so busy today, I haven't had time to really kind of Moving and just, shaking, J.B. There, there you go. That's, that's, that's my daily Moving life. Moving and shaking. Moving and shaking. Trump, my name is Spasty Hour, THJ After Party Radio. Shines and stuff. Woo! Wednesday, October, what, the 28th? Hey! Yeah. Michael is in the it. house. Hi! Yeah, Mike just threw up his hands. What's going on, Mike? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Uh, he's he's going to uh, what? Uh, San Diego. Yeah. San Diego. He's going to San Diego in about two weeks, and he's going to spend some time down there. But uh, me and Teresa is here, and um, yeah. So if you uh, happen to be listening, you want to give us a call and chat with us, just about anything you want to talk about, we can uh, answer maybe some of your questions. Yeah, yeah. we'll do our best. Yeah, we, we'll do our best. 972-591-8272. Let's get back to more music. I know you're going to like this. It's a shame. Paul Jackson Jr. T-H-A after party radio. See you at the party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> Get in the groove. <laughs> Dallas and Fort Worth. <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. Chicago, Illinois. New so Orleans. Dope. Oh, I heard that. Dallas Rain and Fort Worth. Houston, Texas. Chris, go. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> New oh, York City. <laughs> Wherever you may be listening, we want to thank you for joining us. Yes, Hutchins. Keep and listening. Wilmer. Got some good stuff Wilmer coming your way. It's one. Wilmer Hutchins. It's one. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Paul Jackson, let's get yeah, with this. Okay. Me and Teresa's going to be here, and Michael's going to be here until Hi. 8 p.m. tonight. Right here on THA After Party Radio. Uh, take a look at that. You recognize that guy? Mike Epps. Yes, I Mike do. Mike Epps. Guess uh -huh. what? What? I, <laughs> I can't believe uh, there's an upcoming movie. And Mike Epps is going to play, guess who? Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Yeah, I heard that. But what? He don't look nothing like Richard Pryor. You know what? If he's a good actor, he doesn't have to. He, he will play the character. I know he's he a darn good character. comedian. Yeah, he's a good comedian. <laughs> he's a darn good comedian. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I liked him when he played in the movie. Uh, 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 what is it? All those Benjamins. All, yeah, all, all, those, <laughs> all about the Benjamins. All about the Benjamins. All about yes, the all about the Benjamins. Uh, Mike Epps. I can't believe that they choose uh, have chosen Mike Epps to. Uh, you know what? I hope he's run. a good actor. That well, way it won't matter because. The, I, well, I mean, he's a good actor. You'll believe, I, you'll believe whatever he's putting out. You know, he will be Richard Pryor, right. whether he. But he's a darn right. good comedian. Mm -hmm. you, you, yeah. can, you can rest your life on that. Mike oh, Epps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three minutes. After the album, do, we got <laughs> we got to come back in a few minutes with the artist of a lifetime, Michael McDonald. After this, mm -hmm. stay where you are. Got more coming. Mm -hmm. so, Mr. 
producer and uh, I'm JB and uh, along with Michael, he's doing the videotaping for us here at the station. Uh, Michael Maidon, he was born February the 12th, 1952. At the age of 63, well, well he was born in 52, so he would be a little older than 63 right now because this uh, article, uh, this bio that I pulled up, I believe it's, mm -hmm. it's a little older than that, so I think he's probably pretty close to uh, 65 or 70. Oh, okay. He's real close. When was he born in? In, 15, in 52. 52. So you 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 would think. Don't make me do math. I've been working all day. See, I I I done my math. I think I done the math. I think he's he's right at seven. Oh, okay. But but anyway, uh, he had an interesting career. He he, uh, Michael McDonald started out with uh, the Doobie Brothers. Doobie you, Brothers. You remember the Doobie Brothers? And uh, he worked his way into uh, becoming a solo singer. Yeah. And, very he, successful. Did, he did a uh, duet with Patti LaBelle, didn't he? Not only Patti LaBelle, he, he done a duet with Patti LaBelle, Aretha Franklin, uh, Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. Uh, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. Uh, <laughs> that's, but, the other way, that's the official way to pronounce yeah. the name. Yeah, and so, and so but, 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 but anyway, uh, it was, it's, it's all interesting. But here's the thing I was telling you about, it's Kanye West. Who I was trying to call the name a few minutes ago. Oh. Uh, he, he, after he received all of these Grammys uh, for the work that he hard work that he had done and then put into these songs, and uh, uh, most of them went gold and some of them went uh, platinum. Uh, but but he he done a lot of work, uh, you know, to, to, to get those Grammys. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, Kanye West uh, had some uh, some kind of a cruel, ugly things to say about Michael McDonald. Wow, but it, it, okay. wasn't, it wasn't to the face, but let's listen, this was, this, I, I got this from another uh, program that he was on, and um, I believe the guy, last name is Dan, uh, he was doing the program anyway, uh, mm -hmm. he interviewed Michael McDonald and, uh, and asked Michael McDonald about Kanye West and his yeah. comments. And uh, here, here we go, that's what he did what he say. Michael McDonald, your dad's favorite blue-eyed soul-singing artist, appeared on your dad's favorite ESPN radio program, The Dan Lebetard Show, and offered his critiques about music made by computers and Kanye West. He's not a fan of either things, as it turns out. Here's what he had to say. As a five-time Grammy winner, how do you feel about Kanye saying Beck should give back the Grammy he just won and give it to Beyonce? Oh, you know, um, yeah, I don't think it even really bears too much thought you know uh it's it's pretty obvious what what kanye's problem is and uh, you know i think when kanye gets to a point where he can actually put a couple notes together either vocally or two bars of valid music playing an instrument then he might have a right to to criticize somebody else but until then i think he's just talking to hear himself the sound of his own voice you know he also went on to state you know beck is obviously a, a consummate musician you know he plays instruments many instruments he he can make his own record without you know having a fleet of uh you know uh, computer operators on board you know so i i think the guy deserves credit for that you know and i don't think it's uh anybody's right to you know bore the rest of us with his you know uh kind of a tirades of that are kind of really kind of childish and asinine really so according to mcdonald kanye west is in the wrong not because of the validity of his statements but mainly because he makes what McDonald calls cut and paste music on a computer and doesn't play an instrument like, say, recent best album Grammy winner Beck or Michael McDonald. You'd think that McDonald, who made his fortune singing soul music in the style of black musicians, would perhaps be more open to another black art form, like hip hop. Rap started by using turntables, microphones, and samples, birthed out of a lack of resources like the traditional instruments that McDonald feels qualify as valid music. Despite his comments shading the entire genre of rap, McDonald has previously cleared the sampling of his work for hip hop records, including Warren G's Regulate. So Mike, let me get this straight. You don't truly validate the use of samples as music, but you're cool with depositing those licensing checks that come from other artists sampling your work. Okay. If McDonald wants to write off entire genres of music, that's his prerogative. Just as it's our right to deliver a collective shake my head to a dude who doesn't appreciate Kanye West, or any number of musicians across several genres who use computers, samplers, and other devices that wouldn't qualify as instruments to make their music. 
Mike has made his bet. So he shouldn't be surprised if Kanye, his fans, or hip hop in general react to his music like David from Smart Tech. I would rather listen to Fran Drescher for eight hours than have to listen to Michael McDonald. Nothing against him, but if I hear Yamo be there one more time, I'm going to Yamo burn this place to the ground. For Complex News, I'm Jinx. I, I, I go to Jinx for all my news. I really do. You want to slow my shoe? No thanks. Okay. <laughs> they see me take one jump shot, and they know that I have no game. Pause. Pause. Kanye, I love you. I, I just wanted you to know. It's one thing to see what's on like mainstream news, and then it was something else to see somebody that speaks our language. Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of scary. Because <laughs> normally, normally would be at home. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you, you gonna be out there too? <laughs> hey, and, and one other thing I want to remind the, the listening audience: don't forget the uh, Carter High movie is gonna open on Friday the thirtieth across the Dallas and Metroplex area. Mm -hmm. So uh, go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and support these uh, these uh, movies and these uh, producers, black producers and directors, and when they make a movie, go ahead and support it. I mean, hey. Uh, this is this is our own Carter High. Can you imagine? And and this is and by the way, this is a true story. Uh, the uh, Carter High band is going to take part in it. Also, uh, the the band director, Mr. Young, is going to be uh, in the movie. He's the band director at Carter High. I want to say good evening to you, uh, uh, Mr. Young. And uh, hey. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, that's, that's that's on the thirty, which is Friday. So check it out. It's, but I've, I've seen some of the uh, the trailers, and uh, pretty good, pretty good, interesting movie. And they got some good actors. Of course, Charles Dutton is good yeah. anyway, and he he'll, he'll make the movie himself just by himself uh, because Charles Dutton is a great, great, great actor. Yeah. So check it out uh, in the Dallas and Boulder area, opening this week, and probably across the nation. Uh, so wherever you are, check your local theater and time and place and see if it's opening in your hometown. And if it is, grab some tickets and uh, spend a Saturday night uh, at the Halloween uh, in the movie. Yeah, that'd be a good place. And Oh, by the way, one other thing. We got special guests coming. Uh, they have created a new magazine. Yes. They're the co-founders of it. Yes. It's, uh, Slay Ta Magazine. Yeah, Slay Magazine. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Tower is the lady. Tarsha Towers, Tarsha Towers and Chris Brazil. They're the co-founders of Slay Magazine. Yeah. And they will be here around 6.30 calling in to let us know about their new magazine and let us just ask them some questions about being running a magazine yes, and, and what it's like what man. all that's like and yeah. the excitement I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of excitement in because but yeah because you, you can learn a lot from that okay oh yeah that's got to be a pretty that's a pretty big endeavor to start a you magazine got to be. It got to be. 24 minutes past the hour. I'm six in the Central Time Zone. THA after party radio. Jazz and stuff. Grover Washington. Summertime. Check it out. With Ken Burrell. Along with Grover. Super fine. Super fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a cool movie when he first hit the, <laughs> when he first hit the screen. I mean, everybody went wow because they liked the way uh, Ryan O'Neal. Mm -hmm. They liked the way he was done the acting and the uh -huh. moving and the whole the whole the whole movie was. Now, was I've great. never actually seen Superfly. You, you never seen this? Movie? I've never seen it. Oh, you don't know what you miss. You need to go out and rent it. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I I I'll bring you my copy next week. Okay. If you return it back to me, I will return okay. it. I will and return I, it. I guarantee you will like the movie. It's, a, it's it's still a fantastic movie. Okay, good. Uh, Gordon Parker was the uh, director of the movie, and uh, the same guy that done Shout. He, oh. he directed this. It's a great, fantastic movie. Fantastic movie. THA After Part Radio. And don't forget, by the way, if you want to keep in touch with us and find out what's going on with us, you can follow us on Jazz and Stuff Facebook. Jazz and Stuff Facebook. And you can go to the Facebook. There's links there that will carry you to the uh, YouTube. Also, uh, you can check out Michael McDonald. We got a poster of him uh, posted on there, and all of his music and everything. Uh, he's the artist of a lifetime. We presented this day here on THA After Party Radio, jazz and stuff across the Metro Press and across this nation. Uh, me and Teresa, we doing uh, what we like doing and uh, enjoy doing it. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Let's bring Michael McDonald and the Doobie Brothers back. 
to do this for us. Hey, you remember this? Taking it to the street. Speaking, speaking of Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Christmas, uh, other day I happened to be in the mall walking around and I saw all of these cr Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah, I'm saying, hey, what this is all about? Been up for a month, man. Where you been? I, I'm telling you, wow. Where you shopping? Everywhere I shop, they got Christmas stuff. <laughs> they got that one aisle. They only gave up on Thanksgiving. They got a one aisle of some look like stuff right. for Thanksgiving. Then they got a couple aisles for Halloween. They, 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 sweep, like, bam, they sweep all that other stuff out the way, and here come the Christmas here stuff. Here come Christmas. Wow, and that, that's that's they amazing. They are ready that, that is amazing. THA after party radio, Teresa's 28 minutes. Uh, past that, we got about you coming up in a few minutes with the uh, hot, spots. hot spots in hot the spots. Dallas area. So get ready for that. Uh, got it, and, got and, it, got and, it, got and by it. the way, for those of you that's listening, it's Halloween weekend. And so, uh, it's spooky. Yeah, that's right. Saturday. Can you imagine Halloween on the 31st, Saturday night? Oh, it's gonna be good. Gonna be everybody good. can make the party. Everybody can make the party. You ain't got to go to work Sunday. Everybody gonna make the party. Be careful. Oh, no. I'm gonna get and don't, don't forget the artist. With my the lights light. off. No, I yeah. ain't no candy. Yes. No candy. No. 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 No candy. I don't give out candy. No. No candy. No, no. <laughs> don't forget our artist of the uh, for a lifetime is Michael McDonald and. Uh, <laughs> He, uh, Michael McDonald was. A, he's a great artist, and he's still around. Yes, he he's is. still performing, and he's mm -hmm. still doing his thing. Uh, he worked with Steely Dan, also the DB Brothers, and uh, Michael went on to become a freelancer. In other words, he was doing his thing with Warner on Warner uh, Warner, oh. Warner Brothers label. Uh, record label, oh. uh, Michael McDonald was, and mm -hmm. a life of a life, artist of a lifetime. Go out and uh, collect some of his music. I mean, great music, great oh, music. Yeah, that's a just singer. right. That's just some of the music that that I've been playing uh, mm -hmm. from from the uh, from his collection. But uh, Michael got a lot of stuff right there. So check it out. Check yeah. it out. Go ahead and check it out. We don't care. We'll be back in a minute with uh, Teresa. And uh, hot spots. Hot spots. Yes. We think it's a hot spots. Yeah, we, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it together. This is what I do uh, at times when I'm by myself. Okay. And, and this is not often that I do this. Okay. Listen. Okay. Yeah, here I am, folks, with the hot spots for this weekend. These are some things that I found that seem like they're gonna be pretty interesting. Okay. Um, there is on um, October 29th, which is, which is tomorrow, Thursday tomorrow, mm -hmm. there is a six dollar jewelry and accessory fundraising sale with boutiques area with apparel. Oh, with boutique area mm -hmm. with apparel. Okay. And purses at 20 to 70 percent off retail, y'all. It actually goes October 29th and the 30th. It's from 7 a.m. on the 29th, mm -hmm. and it closes up at 4 p.m. on the 30th. And that's going to be at Methodist Mansfield Medical Center at 2700 East Broad Street, Mansfield, Texas, 76063. And the proceeds go to where? I mean, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, what the Probably go? Methodist Hospital. Okay. Probably, I, I'm, I'm looking at Probably Methodist right. Hospital will help with care there. Right. They right. call it a fabulous holiday shopping. It's from 30 to Thursday again on the 29th, 7 a.m. Okay. You start early. On the 29th is 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. On Friday mm -hmm. is 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Then I have another one buzzed art night which is in support of breast cancer and domestic violence awareness mm -hmm. um this is again tomorrow night so okay. if you don't want to shop and you want or you, you can always come here it's mm -hmm. tomorrow from 6 30 to 9 p.m okay it's at picasso's pizza picasso 18160 dallas parkway in dallas mm -hmm. Uh, you can go to eventbrite.com and check out tickets for that. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I have the art on October 30th. I have the art of seduction, and this is actually being hosted by the After Party Radio. Oh, and so where is this going to take place? This is going to be Friday, 7:30 uh, p.m. to 10 p.m. It's the Sweat Dance Movement at 4041 West Wheatland Road, Suite 132, that's in Dallas. Tickets are going to be available at eventbrite.com. You looking for a pen? Yes. 
What, what, what is that address again? It's 4041 West Wheatland. Yes, indeed. Suite 132. Okay. And that's, of course, in Dallas. And it's the Sweat Dance Movement. That's the name right. of the place. Live band, live well, band. You know, I think it may just be for ladies. It says, ladies, would you like to uh -oh. plan something sexy <laughs> for your man? You can scratch it off, JB. It ain't for you. You want to become more flexible and learn body control. No, Do you need an true. idea for an upcoming bachelorette or girls' night out party? Okay. The Art of Seduction is the class. For you, we invite you to enjoy an evening of cocktails and conversations. They're okay. going to have vendors, and they're going to teach you how to dance sexy. Wow. Sexy people. Wait, wait, sexy. Wait, wait. How to dance sexy? Um, how do you do that? Sexy for do, do you move part of the body? Uh, well, you know, I don't know. Body? That's what they're going to teach you. That's what they're going to teach you at the Art of Seduction. Again, that's at, on Wheatland and Dallas. Okay. Go to eventbrite.com to get your tickets. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> then on the 29th, which again is tomorrow, we have okay. the Dex in the Park Halloween Bash. Okay. And that is at Clyde Warren Park at 2012 Woodell Rogers Freeway in Dallas. Mm -hmm. They're going to wrap up an unforgettable season of Dex in the Park at their annual Halloween Bash on October 29th at 6 p.m. Okay. Don't forget to bring your costumes. And they'll be dancing the rest of the night away, and they're going to have treats and all kind of fun. So if you're looking for something fun and you want to get dressed up, you can do that tomorrow. Okay, and what's the, what's the address in there? It's at 2012 Widow Rogers Freeway, and that's at that Clyde Warren Park. Oh, okay. okay. So that starts at 6. Okay. You get to get dressed up for that one. And then if you got a little business mixer. This is on October 30th, Girls' Night in. Mm -hmm. Monthly business mixer. This is for the uh, October. Okay. It's Friday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. It's at 1112 North Zang Boulevard, Suite 204, Dallas. I actually might try to get to this one. I'm trying to think if I have anything to do on Friday nights. I don't know. I'll have to, I'm going to try to get to this one. Friday night? Mm hmm. It says come socialize, eat, play, listen, receive, shop, laugh, laugh some more and bond and just in that order what what's the address on that it's at 1112 north Zane boulevard suites 204. jb don't write this down because it is a <laughs> girls night in. every time i start right it's a girls night you can in. go to the halloween bash <laughs> you can get dressed up as something it's a girls night in and it's a business mixer all for right. entrepreneurs all right all right, all right. Um, who are established are trying to get their businesses or their organizations or their charities, etc., established in today's society. Give me something I can live. The business mixer is held once a month and it offers valuable information, oh, okay. motivation, and encouragement okay. for you to move forward okay. as women. Okay. With okay. the vision for your business. Right. So that this is a business mixer for women. It, that's why they call it a girls' night in. I guess I Girls know, I Night In. So, much. JB, you can go to the Halloween bashing at Clyde Warren Park. Uh, you can do that. Oh, or you can go to, I did say, you can go to the Bar Buzz Art Night Buzz in support Night. for breast cancer and domestic violence awareness. That's actually being um, mm -hmm. Michael Gwynn, who's been on the show before, yeah, a great yes. poet. Mm -hmm. He's the one who uh, invited me to that. Okay. So you can get tickets on that on Eventbrite. That's in Dallas. Okay. It's at uh, Picasso's Pizza, so you'll get some good pizza That's on top pizza. of that. Okay. You could do some of your holiday, uh, holiday, holiday shopping with the uh, $6 jewelry and accessory, and accessory fundraiser. That's at Methodist Mansfield Hospital. That's out in Mansfield. But I, I picked out some stuff. You just wanted to write down all the fun, really fun stuff is for girls, so. So that's all I got. I, I go back to my two way street. Oh, yeah, you go back to two way street. Uh, yeah, well, don't forget. I'm just saying. Okay. I don't gave forget. you something to get dressed up for. <laughs> okay, I'm I, just saying. I, I'll get dressed up. I'm done. You can get all dressed up for Halloween. No, okay. Go to Dex in the Park, the Halloween okay. bash. Okay, I, I may put on the. I see what kind of. What kind of I'm trying to think what kind of costume that I want. Costume. You can make a big, big funny. You can take your headset. You can go as a DJ. 
take the CD and stuff and he was a DJ. Oh, I'll be there on microphone. Jazz and stuff. Yeah, he was jazz and stuff. 41 minutes past the hour of 8 in the central time zone right. here at THA right. After Party Radio. I've uh, been to Teresa Sutton here and we're having a little fun this uh, <laughs> uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, we what? We're two days from Friday and three yes, days from are. Halloween. Wow, that's 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 I love Halloween because I'm not yeah. paying any attention to Halloween. And I keep I keep I keep reminding our listeners, don't forget Carter High movie opens on the thirtieth, which is Friday. Uh check check it out. Go ahead and check, check it out. Check it out. But in the meantime, oh uh I mentioned Michael McDonald and uh, Tony Braxton. Mm hmm They recorded, went into the studio and recorded a beautiful song. I don't and I want you to listen song. to it. Yeah, I, I want you to listen to it. Here, here it is right here. Just take a listen to it. This is this is Michael McDonald and Tony Braxton. Okay. Hello, I'm JB. Tune in to Jazz and Stuff. I will feature the artist of a lifetime. And I'm Teresa of Bean Brokers and Cute Personal Financial Services with your weekly financial tips. Tune in to Jazz and Stuff every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. on the After Party Radio.